So you, you want Coach Sammy to say something to you. You wake <laughs> up for Coach Sammy to say something to you. You know, every morning you have to put on either your indoor or outdoor wheels. So why must someone say they, that to you? I don't know, he wants all sense. <laughs> The impact on team of the coronavirus was everybody was scared. So we lost about 50% of our team just because people with asthma and underlying conditions were afraid to come practice. We've just started back up again. We're skating about 30% of our kids and they're slowly coming back. But they're out of shape because no one did anything during this pandemic. So I'm trying to make it fun for them and make it enjoyable for them to get used to working hard again and becoming the best they can be. COVID has definitely impacted my, my, my skating a lot more than I thought it was going to. I thought I was just going to get more time to train and more time to do all this stuff. But I ended up getting a job through COVID and that kind of took a back seat with, with training and stuff. But in the past month or so, I've been getting back into training, doing as much as I can, going in before or after. And, just getting those hours in in the gym, training, dry land at home, just trying to do as much as I can with what I have. Goals as of right now, you know, priorities have definitely shifted since when I started because, you know, you get, start getting into those jobs, start getting into relationships, and, you know, you got your priorities shift a little bit. And so my goals as of right now, I just want to get as far as I can before it's time to, it's time to hang them up because, you know, once priorities change, you got to start moving on and, as of right now, I have no plans to quit, and I'm just training every day, trying to get as, as good as I can, as quick as I can. Ooh, that's a good idea. Drink your water. That's right. Hey, not just drink your water. David is amazing. I mean, I don't know any other less word to put about, about him. I mean, when it comes to skating, he's one of, currently, he's one of my role models. When it comes to skating, me, even though I've been skating for 22 years, I took a long hiatus. Came, coming back, he is what I'm striving to be. So even though I'm older than him, I'm 33 years old, he's 18, I am looking at him as that's what I want to be like. So he's a, he's a, he's a big inspiration, and I love walking in the doors and seeing him here because I know that I'm gonna have a, have, have a challenge. Um, at the end, by the end of practice, I'm gonna be dead because having to keep up with him. I started speed skating about 22 years. Uh, my mom was a, is a PE teacher, and they had a, a fundraiser at the skating rink and after the skating rink fundraisers was over speed skating team Im immediately came out on the floor and started racing and me and my mom my brother looked at it, it was pretty interesting we were kind of confused as to how people were crossing without hitting each other's skates and we were focused on it and uh, my mom saw Sammy Sammy came over introduced himself uh, asked if me and my brother wanted to try it and we have never never gone back from it so What I love about coaching is helping kids develop and be the best they can be in the field of speed skating and in life. All right. You go here for a while. Two lap, drop back. That will warm up. All right, flower. Go wide and come on the bank. Alexander, you keep it down. Flower, go wide. Stay, 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 stay. Right behind right. I started skating in 1979 for Bob Trotsky at the Startup Speed Club. I was a bad skater. I, I, I hate to say the word suck, but I sucked. But Bob took time to teach me how to skate and help me learn how to skate and get better. From there I went on to Mike Mueller and uh, uh, Dwayne Dooley. They taught me how to train, which is a big difference. So you can, everybody can skate, but knowing how to train is a whole different ball game. Looking good, boy, that champ. Looking good, champ. Champ, looking good. Well, this year I'm looking to try to get three more people to make the world team this year. Three rookies that haven't made it before, and I think they have a really good chance of making it 
if they put the work in. When I first started skating with Stardust Speed Club Austin, Austin was kind of here and there just because he owned his own business and he was working other places. And he's he was definitely always that person when you came to practice, you're like, well, man, I hope we're not sprinting today because he's definitely going to be up there. And in this short time since he had that, since he had that um, background in skating when he was younger, he definitely hasn't took long to come back to that. So he's definitely made strides just in the weeks that he's been back, and he's definitely gonna gonna be a, a force to reckon with when the season starts out. Let's go. What are we doing? Don't worry about you. Everything is new to you. Carry on. I'm gonna wait on you. So some of y'all don't know what happens. Sunday's a lot of lap day. Sunday's filled with laps. So this. The first one we just did was 75 laps. This one will be probably somewhere around 30 to 40 to 50 laps. And I see, I, where are you going? You go way the wrong way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, Austin. Austin, tap that quick. Yeah. All right, and if you leave the whole, five, whole 50, yeah. every five, a little, little bit faster. Start real slow. Let's go. It's already going. All right. So here's the 50. You're, you're in front of her. You're in front of her. The last one. Okay, you say what you're doing. Patient. Okay. The real cool fast. Okay. Stop moving the feet, but they go as fast or faster. Four! Let's back off the pad. Come on, let's get you! So, when you do your four crosses and stop, your skates are gonna roll faster. You understand? So let them roll. Don't keep trying to walk when they're rolling that back. I'm trying to move when they roll that thing. That's when you fall down. See, watch, everybody stops. See how this guy they roll? Cross it, you stop. And you roll. And you start skating. Two! That's what you got to start doing. Okay? This is me, man. I can feel my feet again. Let me know when I, when I push a skater. As my skaters come through my program, I try to get a feel for what, what, they, what they want. I ask to skate all the time, I tell a parent, I don't push a kid till they come to me and say, Coach Sammy, I want to go fast. Um, I don't really know yet, but I would want to do this, because it's really fun, and I love beating people, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave her the nickname Talkie, Sarah's Cheeto, Carmila's Dorito, Dante is Funyun, and I'm hot fried. We're all uh, we're all chips, pretty much. Okay, what are we doing right now? You know? I'm pretty sure they're doing drop backs. Okay, so probably. We might be doing drop backs. Drop back. I was in the bathroom, so I kind of don't know. Okay. I'm just going off what I see. What? Ryan's getting with this. Oh, you don't think I should skate with you? I'm gonna try. Right behind Rachel. Yeah, I've been trying to. I've been making most weekdays. You just been sending me over something. Austin, you're really trying to compete. Rachel got all three as a build up. Go! I'll tell you, what are you doing? Come on, I'm on eight. Two! Pick it up! I'm going to push your limits. I'm going to see what you can take, what you can't take. What's your breaking point? What I've learned a lot of kids is, I tell my kids, practice will be harder than any meet you ever skate because I'm on your back 24 seven. When bad cop comes out, there's no, there's no mercy and no pity. If you can get through me doing that to you, 
there ain't a skater in this America, in this country that can, can affect you where you skate.
toughest thing about inline speed skating is just you know the sacrifices you got to make to to make sure you're the best when you get onto the track and you know you get you get next to the line you know someone next to you's been training all year making those sacrifices so you know you just got to stay up to par with them and make sure you're on the same level. Yeah. Good job. Now this boy a lot faster than it. Yeah. Fly, we do a low ball. I broke my buckle when I was about to start. Oh, did you? Yeah. Dang, guys, those are sub nine minutes flat. Hey, that's sub nine minutes. That's not bad for us. Get some first wheel on three. I got the appointment at one. Why can't I just not at all? Oh, the hardest thing about inline speed skating is probably the endurance. Uh, having to uh, stay in a skate position and constantly focus on being in a squat for an all long period of time. That's probably the hardest thing for me. Talking during the drill. One lap on the track, yeah. All I hear is your mouth. No talking during this drill. There you are. Pick it up. If someone falls and gets hurt because you were talking, I would not be a happy camper. Sorry. Don't you say I'm sorry. Just kidding. Right. They're trying to block you, take a little bit of the fall, and let them in. Just don't move over and let them in because you don't learn anything that way. Right back in line. Jerry's one of my favorite skaters I've ever taught. You know, I took him when he was. 13 years old, made him a champion. He's followed the wagon a little bit, but it was nice to see him in the house tonight. It sucks having to sit on the sidelines and watch people do something that you love to do. I have a marine out is is a dagger, you know. <laughs> the quad's locked up. It's really bad right here. Is Jared gonna make it? Is he, is he going going to rehab?